What's going on everyone, JPS back for the video and today we're going to be reacting to my healthcare experience in Europe as an American. So this guy was in Holland in Germany and he's going to give us a breakdown of his healthcare experiences. But before we even get into the video guys, I have a personal healthcare story uh, of some of my experiences with healthcare in the United States. So this story date back dates back to about 10 years ago. Uh, I was playing at the park with one of my friends. We were skipping rocks at the creek and uh, he went to skip the rock and turned around and accidentally skipped the rock towards me and it ended up hitting me right above the eyebrow. And I had a pretty big gash, was pretty deep, so it required that I go to the emergency room. So the emergency room is like this section of a hospital where you're treated for emergencies. So my parents took me to the emergency room and Interestingly enough, the emergency room was filled with people and a lot of them didn't seem to be in much distress or pain, no life-threatening things going on or some things wouldn't even be constituted as emergencies, but the reasoning behind this is because in the United States, emergency rooms are required to provide adequate care regardless of the patient's ability to pay or that patient's insurance status. So people who don't have health insurance in the United States have to go to the emergency room if they get sick or get an ear infection or something like that. And oftentimes the emergency room has these insane wait times. Uh, just think of a waiting room packed with people, a baby crying, that kind of vibe. That's that's That was one of my experiences with an uh, emergency room in the United States. And that's one of the few times I've had to go to the emergency room. But it was just very sad seeing you know, people having to wait in there and, and go there when, you know, they could have just gone to a, a general healthcare service or whatever. But again, not everyone has that benefit in the United States because we don't provide healthcare for everyone. So that was, uh, you know, I was only 10, 10 ish years old. So it was an early introduction to that. And uh, my parents explained to me kind of what was going on with that. So that was one of my first experiences with uh, an emergency room and doesn't really give or shed the US healthcare system in the best light in my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this guys. I have my own strong views on US healthcare. It's a very complicated issue. There's people on both sides in the United States, which is why we stay in the same situation. But let's learn about this guy's experience. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe. Let's get it. Hey guys, so uh, I'm gonna talk about my uh, healthcare experience when I went to Europe. So I just got back from a trip to uh, Europe. I went to uh, Barcelona in Spain, and then I flew to Amsterdam. I was in uh, I was in Barcelona for a week. And I was in Amsterdam for a week too, and then I uh, went to Vals, which is in southern Holland, for my uncle's wedding, and I went to. Uh, Mönchengladbach, Germany for two days and then I flew back home. So when I was in Amsterdam, I, uh, I hurt my foot. I went dancing for too long in a, in a nightclub <laughs> and um, oh, the next man. morning when I woke up, my foot was like, it, it hurt really bad. It really felt like someone had like taken a hammer and almost smashed right behind my toes on my left foot. Ooh. And it was swollen, but there was no marking, so it really, I was kind of confused. I was like, why, you know, why does it hurt? And I guess I just had overstressed it. So, um, I let it, I took it easy for a couple days, and then I, um, decided, then I, I then I went on a walking tour of Amsterdam. I, I did a, a guided tour of the red light district and this, like, museum tour and stuff like that. So I was walking around for, like, two hours straight. And, you know, normally that's no problem. I walked like six miles a day when I was in Barcelona and i had been biking around all the time in Amsterdam. Uh, but by the end of the walking tour, my, my foot had just, was just hurting really badly. And I was limping and it was, I knew it was no good. So the next day I drove with my uncle to Vols because we were going there for his wedding. And, uh, you know, not much improvement at all. I waited, I think I waited one more day. And then on the day of the wedding, the wedding was starting at like 1, 132, something like that. I was like, okay, I gotta go to the doctor. This is, this is not, it's not improving, it's getting bad. So 
I asked, I was at a hotel, so I asked the hotel reception, uh, you know, where, where's the nearest doctor? So they pointed out on the map for me and it was, it was like a block or two blocks away. I think it was three blocks. So I, I called them up and the recording line was in Dutch, so I had no idea. <laughs> you know, I, I speak German and Spanish pretty well, but I can't, I can't speak Dutch. So I, I had no idea what they were saying on the recording line. So I said, screw it, I'm just going to go straight there. So it was about, I think it was around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, something like that, on a Thursday. And I walked there, I, I limped, limped, to the, <laughs> limped to the doctor's office. So I get there and um, I, uh, I check in and I, you know, I say, I just go up to the desk and I say, hey, how's it going? I, you know, I got this problem, blah, blah, blah. They take my ID, they scan it, they, they tell me that it's going to be 25 euros for the doctor to check me out. So keep in mind, well, you know, I, I'm an American <coughs> citizen. Um, I, live, I live in California. I have, I have health insurance here, but I don't have, you know, it's not international health insurance. So I'm over there, I, I am not a citizen, and I have no health insurance. So they tell me, okay, so it's going to be 25 euros for the doctor to see you. So I say, tell me why I was in the United States. Listen, I was sick, not near my normal doctor, so I had to go somewhere else. I have health insurance in the United States. I went in, $100 to check me out. 25 euros. And he's not even a citizen and doesn't even have health insurance in Netherlands. It's not fair, guys. It's really not. <laughs> okay, all right. It's like that's like what a copay is in America. Yeah. So I go. Uh, I had to get cash. They, they they wanted me to pay in cash. So that, I was like, that's fine. So there's an ATM across the street. So I went and got. I uh, I went and got the the cash, and then um, I waited probably like ten minutes, maybe it, it might have even been less than that. It was like 10, 15 minutes. I went and saw the doctor. She examined my foot. Um, you know, she did a thorough job. She looked at it. She said, you know, she asked me questions, blah, blah, blah. She looked at my other foot to compare. My, my left one was kind of swollen and blah, blah, blah. So she looked at the foot. She said, okay, um, I think you need an x-ray. I think it has uh, like a, a stress fracture. And, you know, she heard my whole story and everything. She said, I don't have an x-ray machine here, but I can write you an x-ray recommendation for uh, a hospital. So... I said, okay, that sounds good. She wrote me the recommendation, and then she said, I can give you a, a it's like a painkiller slash uh, anti-inflammatory prescription. So I went, uh, so I said, okay, great. That sounds good. I'll take the prescription. So she gave me the prescription. There was a pharmacy in the downstairs of the of the doctor's office. Um, so I just went, I went down the elevator, went to the pharmacy. They filled my prescription, and... Um, it was it was seven euros for this like painkiller slash anti-inflammatory uh, pill. So I no was thinking, way. it was funny because they said, "Oh, do you want a receipt so you can you can get try to get your health insurance to pay for it?" And I just started laughing. I was like, you know, there's <laughs> what's the point? what's the point? You know, I'm gonna spend like an hour on the phone to try to get five euros from the insurance company or whatever. So he's like, no, it's fine, don't worry. So I had I had the painkiller and I had the uh, doctor, uh, you know, the, the recommendation for an x-ray. Okay, so the next day, so the wedding happens. The next day, my foot's actually feeling a little better, probably due to, maybe due to the pill she had given me. Um, and so I'm driving with my relatives to Mönchengladbach, which is pretty close to the German-Dutch uh, border. So my, my aunt, my great aunt, she takes me to the, um, basically the emergency room in her town, Mönchengladbach. Oh. So I go there, they had me fill out a little bit of paperwork. They like photocopied my ID. I, I signed a couple things. Um, so I go to get the x-ray and, um, oh, so sorry, first I... I'll tell you how long I waited. First, I check in, then I go back to the emergency room. Um, I probably waited about a half hour. I think I made like a phone call and I read a couple of news articles on my phone. But, you know, it was a half hour and this is an emergency room. And again, I have no insurance on, and I'm not a German citizen. So, go there, They, I wait about a half hour. 
those all those words just sound like an absolute massive amount of money. Like in the United States, if you have to get an X-ray and you don't have insurance, thousands. It's going to be thousands. In fact, I decline X-rays at the dentist sometimes, but that's because they do it. They have this thing too in the United States where like they try and recommend an X-ray so often, so they can charge the insurance and they can get more money. I'm like, I don't need an. And the way they try and justify it is so weird because they try and say, oh, we need it. They use this vague wording like we need it to give you better care or to get a better, a deeper look at your teeth. And I get it, but too much radiation, bro. I'm not doing that. Our, I go and see the doctor. The doctor not that often. Me again, I tell her the whole story. Then she says, okay, we're going to give you an x-ray. So I walk down to the x-ray room. They do the x-ray. I go to the reception room in the x-ray wing of the hospital and I, I, they say, okay, your charge is 20 euros for the x-ray. So oh, what? I'm like, all right, great. That sounds good. 20 what? euros. So I go back up. They look at my x-ray and they say, <laughs> okay, you don't have a stress fracture, but you need to take it easy for a bit. They're like, you have lots of inflammation and, uh, you know, you just got to take it easy and, and et cetera. Uh, so they give me, they give me this, um, they give me like a, a pain cream and they wrap my foot up and they, they send me on my way. So I leave, I leave the hospital and I tell my aunt, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, they only charged me 20 euros and she, you know, you know how the Germans are. She's like, oh, that's not, that's not right. You must <laughs> you probably owe them a little more. So I was like, all right, whatever. So we go back to the billing office and they determine that I owe them another 60 euros. So my total, my total charge for visiting an emergency room in Germany was 80 euros, you know, and that included an x-ray. So if, if you know, if, if you go, if you, if you did the same thing in the United States and you didn't have health insurance, and I, I'm, you know, especially if you weren't a citizen, I'm sure the x-ray would probably cost at least three or 400 bucks. And then just the fact that you're in the emergency room would at least be another couple hundred. So you'd probably be at the door 500. I show up, you know, not a citizen, no health insurance, and they charge me a hundred, you know, I'm sorry, 80 euros. Um, <coughs> and, you know, I was happy. There was, I, I waited a half hour at the emergency room and I waited like maybe 15 minutes at the, at the doctor's office in Holland. So overall, I think my experience was pretty good. And I, I was ha obviously I was happy that I didn't have a fracture because that would have really, you know, that would have really ruined the rest of my trip. And, uh, yeah, so it was it was really good, um, but I just hope that this leads to a further discussion about uh, you know the healthcare system we have in the United States because over there they have a combo uh, of it's mostly universal healthcare, so it's like single payer universal healthcare where the government pays for it, um, and in Germany you can buy I think in Holland too you can buy supplemental healthcare insurance so like if you if you're you know some reason you're not happy with it then you can pay extra money um but you know the, the prices are way lower the the wait times were faster if you ask me and what a lot of people will say you know they'll say about the the, the rag on the canadian system or the rag on other on <laughs> universal health care systems they'll say oh the the wait times are forever and you're going to get a, a shitty doctor and poor care. And I just, I never had that problem. And, you know, I mean, granted, I only went to two, two different doctor's offices and, you know, a doctor's office in an emergency room. But, uh, yeah, that was my experience. So hopefully, uh, you can pass this on to other people and tell them, you know, spread, spread the truth. All right. Have a good one. All right, guys, that was my healthcare experience in Europe as an American. And uh, the point about the, the Canadian system, that's super true. In the United States, we always, uh, can, Canada is like the intermediary between Europe and the U.S., so oftentimes we, we, do, we do shit on Canada a lot. A lot of Americans um, try and compare that directly to other European healthcare systems when it's just not the same thing. And a lot of people use the same stereotypes like, oh, the quality of care is so low. Like he said, oh, the wait times, oh, the wait times. When in reality, they haven't even stepped foot in a healthcare 
setting outside of the United States or outside of their local healthcare. Um, so I've been frustrated about this for a very long time in the United States. Uh, like it's not, it doesn't seem right to have your fellow citizens struggling. Uh, and we, we just pay so many taxes already. So I don't see why it would be such a big deal, but there's a lot of ideological reasons for why things are the way they are. And, uh, Americans, we do have a track record for kind of being individual and, and not wanting to pay or carry the burdens of our neighbors. When in reality, I think that's, that's contrary to how life should be lived. You should, uh, should live as a, a village and, and, uh, live communally but that doesn't fit our economic system does it so a lot of things you know who knows though I, I'm, I'm very cynical about the future sometimes but crazier changes have been brought about in much quicker timelines so who knows what can happen we are the this younger generation we're going to be the future so if enough of us band together we can make some serious changes but this is a really good video. I liked hearing about his experiences. Let me know what you guys thought about it down below. And also, uh, if you want to, you can feel free to comment some of your own healthcare experiences in your respective country. Uh, but yeah, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.